Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So now guys we continue with Corruption Central known as the Nigerian state. In a previous video I stated that the whole thing that is uh, going on within the Nigerian governance is nothing more than a criminal enterprise. The entirety of the Buhari structure is just one mafia a criminal enterprise and to buttress that guys I bring you this. Pantami confirms owning houses in Abuja, denies buying any property since becoming minister. So we are going to the minister of uh, uh, communication, Isa uh, Pantami. So there was a picture news that uh, broke uh, a couple of days ago showing a uh, picture slides of all these high-end luxury properties which that uh, news was asserting belongs to Pantami that he bought these properties uh, since he became minister and he bought them for his wife. So now this latest headline now is Pantami now trying to rebut that. So again the headline Pantami confirms owning houses in Abuja denies buying any property since becoming a uh, minister. So now let's now find out how he uh, defends himself. Nigeria's Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, has confirmed that two of the three houses published by Sahara reporters belongs to him. He, however, said he never bought any house for his wife after he assumed office as a minister. So let's just pause there for a moment because that is a qualified denial. Uh, that's a statement. So let's uh, reread it. He, however, said he never bought any house for his wife after he assumed office as a minister. So you have to go into the details and the specifics of that statement. He said he never bought any house for his wife. That is not to say that he never bought any house. So you can see then that uh, wordplay that is being used there, that is uh, obfuscation at its very best, uh, being clever with words, sleight of hand, abracadabra. So that is an abracadabra uh, denial right there. He however said he never bought any uh, house for his wife since uh, he assumed office. So let's carry on. Pantami claimed that he had occupied one of the apartments since January 2017 before he was appointed minister whilst the other one was a house he rented since December 17, 2019. The minister disclosed this in a statement by his uh, spokesperson Uwa Suleiman in Abuja whilst reacting to the publication. The statement reads, For the purpose of setting the records straight, the Honorable Minister has not purchased any single property anywhere in the world in the period he has been in office as a minister. One of the apartments in the images published is one which the Honorable Minister has occupied since January 2017, more than two years before becoming a minister, whilst the other one is a house he rented since the 17th of December 2019. Two of these images are not even known to him. However, the minister's defense appears to have caused more damage as Nigerians on various social media platforms continue to condemn his double standard of pretending to be a saint when he is not. So now this is now this guy now being outed. This guy of course was, was an employed because before he became a, a minister he was a I think he was a part-time lecturer in Saudi Arabia of all places but then of course that is where these people really belong to. So he was a part-time lecturer in Saudi Arabia before he became minister and I don't think the salary even in an oil rich uh, country like Saudi Arabia I don't think the salary is sufficient to buy the sort of properties that we're seeing uh, being attributed and ascribed to this guy as belonging to him. So he has now purchased this property since he became minister. So what win for? What lottery win has he won since he became minister 
to enable him afford this uh high-end luxury uh, apartments and buildings you know so these are not just cheap we're talking about a huge spend you can see the quality of the property so you can already guess the sort of monies that would have been spent on that and apparently he bought three of these sort of properties for three of his wives so if he bought three of these sort of properties for three of his wives how many has he bought for himself and how many did he buy for his girlfriends etc so you can see already and this this is just some obscure um, ministry, by the way. What is this ministry again? Minister of our Communication and Digital Economy. So this is just some obscure uh, ministry that doesn't really have the sort of huge budgets that the, uh, uh, the more high-end, should I say, ministries uh, would have. So if he is stealing that much from that uh, obscure ministry, then how much then are the rest of them stealing? Is really where the uh, question is. But then, of course, uh, there's been a response to this um, situation. Somebody has written an open letter. So we go into the next headline to see how people are responding to this public statement by the minister's uh, spokesperson. So this is the next uh, headline. Minister Issa Pantami Abuja houses and the lies used to cover more lies by Moshud Musbao. So that's the name of the person now that is reporting this. And the headline again for his uh, open letter Minister Issa Pantami Abuja houses and the lies used to cover more lies. So now let's now see how this guy goes after them. Dear beloved Uwa, so he's addressing this letter to the uh, minister spokesperson who we uh, already know is a lady called Uwa Suleiman. So dear beloved Uwa, in response to your unprofessional and not well-researched response to your boss's corrupt behavior, I will make it easy for you by putting clear and concise questions for you to respond to with facts not every nigerian is gullible like the followers of your boss on social media so respond to sr with the following since you called them liars so sr then would be of course i'm assuming sarah reporters so then he then goes on to make a list so here's the first uh thing that uh, he's positing to her your boss moved two of his wives from cabo and life camp to the two locations excluding Maitama. So when did he move to the house? You claimed it was in 2017. I don't understand that. That doesn't quite uh, chime grammatically or uh, in terms of our sense. But uh, we go to the next thing that is uh, positing. Who did he pay rent and when? You can forge documents, but you will only be stating the obvious about the contractor. I don't really know what that means either. He spent a year and a half or less in the university in Saudi. How much was his salary? So now this is a point that I made earlier. So this guy was uh, a lecturer in a Saudi university before he became uh, the minister of uh, uh, digital economy or whatever. Uh, but now he has now found himself in a position to be splashing all this cash on expensive houses. So uh, how much was his salary in Saudi to afford him this is really where the question is. Uh, you claimed he was a businessman. State the business he was doing. Did he sell dates from uh, Saudi or what? So dates, of course, is that sort of a sweet fruit that uh, they like. In the Middle East, please, Nigerians will not be fooled by your lack of professionalism. Dr. Malam Sheikh Pantami can do justice to himself by finding someone else to respond with better convincing facts. Your response only implicated him more and it would have been better if you had kept quiet. Long live Nigeria and every soul will taste death. Today where is Buru or Kari and many? May their shortcomings be forgiven. So the minister cannot continue to use the religion for worldly gains and try to use the northern Muslims and trolls he pays via northern journalists to quiet down 
the truth. So this guy is signs it off as just a concerned youth that wants a good Nigeria. So this is now a response now to uh, this uh, pandemic situation, this response especially from his uh, spokesperson, Uwa Suleiman. So now uh, it's just a ludicrous thing really. So this is a guy that was virtually unemployed before he became a minister and then in the short period that he has been minister i don't know how long he has been minister let's just assume that he was minister from 2015 i've not done the uh research actually let me find out when he became minister okay so he was actually made a minister in uh, august 2019 so you can see how short that period is and this guy has acquired enough money uh, in that short uh, uh, space of time to afford himself uh, two luxury apartments, three luxury apartments, according to uh, Sahara reporters, three luxury apartments, two of which is uh, owning up to within that short period of time in Abuja. And you talk about corruption in Nigeria. Nobody is going to investigate this guy, of course, because, of course, we saw uh, Ganduje pocketing dollars. This is something that we saw, by the way, with our own naked eyes. We saw this guy pocketing dollars uh, that he was being given as a bribe by a contractor and when this video broke the president of the country no less a person Malam Buhari told us that uh, it was photoshop and we should just get out of his sight get out of my sight what uh, was what he said that uh, what, what does it matter if he's collecting dollars is it not the governor uh, is it not his time get out my friend if you become governor too will you not be collecting dollars get, get out am i not collecting dollars where I, are you so so you see this when i say that the nigerian state is a criminal enterprise then you begin to see nothing good will ever come out of this sort of system that we have in nigeria because the level of looting is uh, so vast that the resources are not sufficient anymore to uh, meet the needs of the people. So if this sort of minister is stealing all these monies and buying all these properties in, uh, in, in Abuja and all over the world, and every minister is doing that, so you think they have about 30, 40 ministers in Nigeria, and every governor is doing the exact same thing. They have about, what, 30, 40 governors in Nigeria, and every DG and every... So by the time, and of course, everybody at the federal system within the presidency, the Senate, etc., they're all looting. So how much then is left to uh, insulate the Nigerian person from, from, from the bestialities of life? So... It, it, it's just the system cannot work but of course it is a criminal enterprise and these people are making so much money that you would find it near impossible to rescue that country from them so how that country can be rescued from them though is where the real question is within the nigerian space there's just one question within the nigerian space and that question is how can nigeria be rescued from elements like pantami buhari tinubu uh, abacha babangida etc all this people gorging and just feasting and holding everybody else at gunpoint how can the country be rescued uh, from these people because if the country is not rescued from these people then we can wait till kingdom come nothing uh, of any value will ever happen within that space conversations in the comment section they're just looting the place dry he was minister for less than a few months and he has already bought three properties three lush plush uh choice properties in abuja so what is you pantami is the example that we're using but you can replace uh, pantami with any other name they're all the same and they're all at it we saw ganduji we saw we've seen the rest of them we saw the adc to aisha buhari who was looting his own billions we've seen this uh yusuf guy who is the assistant to buhari himself who's just it is just a mass looting everybody's looting the nigerian state so what then is left for the nigerian person is really the question come answer this question then in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video click on like as well because that helps with the youtube algorithm so once you've done all three come into the comment section to uh, evolve this conversation with me so i'll leave you here carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here i say peace